Hi, my name is Saskia and I'd like to tell you how I was healed from Guillain-Barre syndrome and a separated twisted pelvis. Um, I had a cold when I was 29 weeks pregnant with my second baby and I went to the doctors and uh, three days later I couldn't walk anymore uh, or lift my elder 13 month old boy. Uh, I went back to the doctor who rang me later that night to tell me that he thought I had Guillain-Barre syndrome. Um, I had no idea at that point what Guillain-Barre syndrome was. It's very rare, one or two in 100,000 people get it. Um, he told me that I would be having difficulty breathing and swallowing on my own fairly soon so I had to go straight to the hospital. By that point I already was having trouble swallowing. So. Um, I hung up from the phone, prepared to go straight to the hospital. My family was with me and we decided to have some prayer together. So for about five minutes we prayed and we all had an incredible peace just come over all, every single one of us. And um, I know uh, all the way into the hospital we just um, talked about the Lord and the wonderful things that he does in our lives. And I never for one moment through the whole ordeal doubted that I was going to be okay and I got to hospital and my um, feet had started to go numb. They admitted me to high dependency to monitor the numbness because the paralysation is supposed to um, start in your hands and feet and go through until you can no longer breathe on your own and that's what they were expecting. Um, the numbness went up my hands, up my feet, part way up my legs and uh, I was praying to the Lord and uh, the church was praying for me also. And by the next morning, um, I could feel my hands and feet again perfectly normally. Um, I was discharged from hospital a week later um, and the, the Guillain-Barre was completely gone. It was amazing. Uh, three weeks after I was healed from Guillain-Barre, my pelvis separated um, and twisted when I rolled over in bed. It was so painful that um, I thought that I was in labour. Uh, by this stage I was 33 weeks pregnant and I could no longer walk again. Uh, I, at 35 weeks the baby had stopped growing um, and stopped moving. I was monitored in hospital and his heart rate was dropping. He wasn't expected to be um, a very big baby. He was expected to be low birth weight. I had a caesarean section because of all the pelvic difficulties um, at 37 weeks. He was born perfectly healthy and normally. Um, I still had tremendous difficulty after the birth with my pelvis. Um, I wasn't expected to be able to walk for another three months. Two weeks after I was discharged from hospital, I uh, woke up in the morning um, and got out of bed on my own um, and did everything that I had to do on my own unassisted. Um, again, it was a miracle from God um, that I had no pain. Actually, from that point on, I didn't even have any pain from my caesarean section.